Hi, I'm Madeline from Sheen Sings, and this is my video review of the Tula Light, which is a lightweight, really compact carrier, really designed with travel in mind. As such, the whole carrier fits into this little tiny pouch, which can be worn like I'm doing right now as a um, cross shoulder, <coughs> like so, um, or can be worn around your waist as a hip pouch or a bum bag that thing either at the front or I actually prefer to swizzle it around and have it at the back while not in use and then when you're ready to use it you can bring it round to your waist and you'll notice there is a zip right inside here right against my body I'm using this bit off to make it a bit easier for me and then the whole carrier literally just comes out of that little compartment you can see so it was all just tucked inside there, really neat and easy to transport and to wear while you're not using it. And then the carrier simply comes straight out. Um, and you will also notice, you probably noticed as I was doing that, that there's actually another zip here at the front. And you can see now I've taken the carrier out of it, we have a really massive capacious pocket. So again, really, the designers of this carrier have really thought about what you might need for traveling and they've given you loads of space so when the carrier is out of um, its pocket there's absolutely tons of space you could easily get snacks um, keys phone wallet etc and a few good few things in here you can see if I give you an idea it's really got loads of space when the carrier is rolled up and inside, it takes up most of, but not all of this pocket space. And of course it goes inside this inside pocket, so it's a separate compartment. So you can still get a couple of things in here. I think I tried this earlier and I could get my phone and my keys um, and a very small person, but not a larger purse um, as well. So you can definitely get like the real essentials or your passport and your phone and the card in here no problems um, with the carrier in and then when it's out you've got a lot more space for bits and pieces um, so let's go show you how this carrier actually works and um, so i'm going to tighten up the waistband i'm ready to carry my baby and take this off so a word on the waistband and um, this is obviously all pocket but you can see it's a really nice wide waistband it is barely padded at all if i bring this up you can see it's got very, very, very thin, very light padding, but it has been stiffened. So it is actually probably more supportive than it looks, although definitely maybe not as supportive as a real padded waistband, but it actually gives quite a nice shape and quite a nice hug. So this fits you quite well. Um, and it's really quite flexible, so it does mold to different shapes and sizes. And you can see it's been built up at the front to give you a little bit more support at the front where the baby's weight's going to be. Um, and it tightens across look, here. Um, so yeah, actually quite surprisingly supportive considering how lightweight and how pared back this carrier is. Um, although obviously if you overfill this pocket, that might also add to the weight you've got to carry. And then if we follow up, the panel is really, really, really thin really lightweight material, see if I can bring it in towards you. So this material is 100% nylon and it does feel slightly synthetic-y, kind of like um, like a splash-proof summer jacket-y thing you might purchase. Um, it is probably um, slightly splash-proof, proof. you'll probably, um, water will bead on it but it will soak in so it's not waterproof. Um, but that said, it still feels nice and soft. Um, it is nylon. Um, the other material used on this carrier, as you can see, there's um, a mesh material along the straps. So along the straps and along the waistband, you've got mesh on the inside, lining on the outside, um, nylon on the outside. The mesh is polyester. Um, I would say it's not the world's softest mesh, but it's also not, it's not harsh. It's, um, I tried it on, on my bare shoulders earlier and it really it doesn't chafe it doesn't feel overly sweaty and um, so it's really quite a good option for summer for holidays and um, for hotter climates than we have here you should also mention we've got a little bit of this mesh on the outside with um, very slight outside leg padding for baby's comfort too um, so that's the panel and then as we go up to the shoulder straps again you can see they're not padded at all we've just got 
the two, um, we've just got two layers um, and then on here and a third layer of the mesh um, so they're not padded at all it's completely flexible um, they are quite long and it, I should say these this carrier is doesn't offer a crossed option you can only wear it in the rucksack style um, but these it does adjust for different body shapes up and down on here I should say it doesn't actually have a huge amount of adjustment and these straps are quite long so when I was playing with this earlier I think if you are very very petite you might struggle to get these straps tight enough and if you are um, very if you have a very long torso and you're very very much broader you may also struggle to get this um, this low enough um, so I do slightly worry that this might be one that doesn't fit the real extremes of different shapes and sizes um, particularly more petite people I would worry it would fit well but again more plus size people I'm not sure if it's got enough adjustment um, in it that said I could be wrong on that but, but I think for definitely for more petite people it wouldn't be my first choice um, uh, but again it's partly because this is designed with travel in mind they've par pared it down um, so it's not quite as flexible as other Tula carriers which usually fit very petite people extremely well and also really fit more plus size parents really really well I think as part of paring this down to the minimum we've lost some of the range we would normally expect from a Tula carrier that said I would think it would fit the vast majority of people I'm going to grab my baby and pop them in and you can see um, how they sit in here and I'm going to flip this strap over my head and um, I can't do the rucksack up behind me so I always pre-tie it and um, just to save the embarrassment of you watching me not being able to do that um, and then I'm just going to wiggle this down so that that strap sits across the middle of my back and then I can tighten it up and you can start to see what I mean about um, not feeling like it will fit very petite parents particularly well I am not petite um, but you can see I already don't have much extra tightness that I can do. Um, however, there are really long straps. I'm possibly incredibly wrong about not fitting plus size parents. There is absolutely tons. So it probably fits um, easily all sizes bigger than me, but you might struggle if you're significantly smaller than me. Um, for reference, I am 5'7", 170 centimetres, and I'm a somewhere between a size 12 and a size 14. So I am not petite by anyone's reckoning. Um, in terms of baby fit, the seat is not adjustable, nor is the height. Um, it's designed to fit really well from about, it is quite squashable down and it's not overtly wide. So I think it would fit really well from about three months-ish. Um, and I think it would continue fitting to about 18 months, maybe two years, but probably more realistically 18 months. Um, and we have got a hood, which we can attach, and we can also take the hood off. It's just offered onto little loops here. Um, in terms of what this carrier can do, it offers this position um, on my on parent's front, and I can also use the same, same the carrier on my back. It doesn't offer an outward position, and it doesn't offer a hip position. Again, this carrier has been designed to be for travel, for summer, so it's really paired back. It doesn't offer all the options we'd expect of um, a sort of a full-time carrier. Um, so what else should I say about this? Well, in terms of price point, this carrier costs £80. So again, as it's designed to be lightweight, compact, and for travel, it comes with a much cheaper um, price tag, as there's a lot less to it than say the um, flagship Tula models like the Explore and the Free to Grow. Um, that said, is it worth it? Well, it really depends how much you're going to use it. If you are, you know, if you live somewhere really, really hot, if you travel a lot and, and would use this a lot, then yeah, it could definitely be worth it. Although it's worth, if you are really in the market for a lightweight summer carrier I definitely think it would be worth comparing to something like the Kahoo baby um, both the, the the standard cotton one and the Kahoo um, sunshine which comes in a really nice material because a the Kahoo sunshine material feels more natural and less synthetically synthetic -y 
than, than the Tula and also because the Kahu offers a lot more options and flexibility. It does offer a hip carry, it does offer outward facing and it's a very similar price point at around £90. So um, worth considering if you are using a carrier a lot. If you aren't using a car if you aren't using a carrier a lot, you're not somewhere hot. Um, not wouldn't need this a lot if you have a main carrier already and only occasionally need something for um, hot days or hot days out or for travelling. Then I would really consider hiring instead of buying um, versus eighty pounds for something that will probably only do you a one maybe two summers. Um, it would make more sense to just hire it. Um, so I hire these or, and the Kahoo baby carriers out for £10 for two weeks or £20 for a month. And that might be all you need to spend for one summer or hire it for two months. And it would still be a lot less than purchasing one and a better, um, better environmental option than buying something new that you'd only maybe use one or two months of the year. Um, I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions about this carrier or any summer lightweight travel options or any carriers at all, please do put them in the comments box below. Do like, share this. Um, there are loads more reviews on my website, sheenslings.com. Um, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.